Hey friends, it's Emily and welcome to Daily Bible Things. If you're joining in this morning or at the end of your day, let's make space to engage with scripture. Go ahead and remove distractions and ask the Holy Spirit to help you make space in your heart and mind for Jesus by letting go of what you don't need. Now let's take a deep breath and get started. Today we're in the Old Testament looking at 1 Samuel chapter 19 verses 1 through 7. This is part of the story of David and especially a part of the story of David and Jonathan and their friendship. This is found in the Old Testament and I'm looking at the CEB. Here's what it says. Saul ordered his son Jonathan and all his servants to kill David. But Saul's son, Jonathan, liked David very much, so he told him, My father, Saul, intends to kill you. Be on your guard in the morning and hide in a secret place and stay there. I'll go out and stand. I'm so sorry. Frickin' frack. Okay. Hey friends, it's Emily and welcome to Daily Bible Things. If you're joining in this morning or at the end of your day, let's make space to engage with scripture. Go ahead and remove distractions and ask the Holy Spirit to help you make space in your heart and mind for Jesus by letting go of what you don't need and any distractions. Now let's take a deep breath and get started. Today we're in the Old Testament looking at the friendship between David and Jonathan. This is found in 1 Samuel and we're focusing on chapter 19 verses 1 through 7. I'm in the CEB and here's what it says. Saul ordered his son Jonathan and all his servants to kill David. But Saul's son Jonathan liked David very much, so he told him, My father Saul intends to kill you. Be on your guard in the morning and hide in a secret place and stay there. I'll go out and stand beside my father in the field where you are and talk to him about you. When I see what he says, I'll tell you. Jonathan spoke well of David to his father, Saul. He said to him, the king should not sin against his servant, David. He hasn't sinned against you. In fact, his actions have been a great advantage to you. He took his life in his hands when he struck down the Philistine, a.k.a. Goliath, and the Lord brought about a great victory for all Israel. You saw it and rejoiced, so why would you sin against innocent blood by killing David for no reason? Saul listened to Jonathan's advice and swore an oath. As surely as the Lord lives, David will not be killed. So Jonathan summoned David and told him all these words. Then Jonathan brought David to Saul and he served him as he did before. As surely as the Lord lives, David will not be killed. So Jonathan summoned David and told him all these words. Then Jonathan brought David to Saul and he served him as he did before. Based on this passage, here is today's question for us to think about. How do you think God helps us during times of trouble and challenge? Keep this question in your heart and on your mind as you let go of what you don't need to make more room for Jesus in your life. You can even take a few minutes to journal about this and talk with God in prayer. Our guided journal linked in the show notes can help you do just that. I can't wait to hang out tomorrow and don't forget today needs you.